we hit the holidays, and so, um, so some of our new folks were, what lane am I in? And I said, you know, we don't like to really assign people to lanes. We like them to find their niche. So uh, if you wouldn't mind if, uh, if you're ahead of a, a lane, would you please, uh, let's start off, Dave, you're up front, let's start off with you. Uh, just a brief description of, of what lane you're in and, and what your lane does. It's a special projects lane, and it, uh, it's basically the fundraiser, so it's all events. The upcoming one is the basket bingo. We're going to have a meeting next week on the running of the balls, which is in August. So there's a lot of coordination for the running of the balls. Uh, the Governor's Cup, um, uh, Taste of St. Mary's now we've added. So th those are the uh, special projects which make the club money. So. That's what the special projects and it, it, the time of the event, we, we do need people to, to help. Uh, the Oyster Festival was another one where we made the oyster chowder. So uh, I was standing there last Oyster Festival. I was the only one taking money. I'm looking around. Where's everybody else? So uh, I'm going to have to do a little better job of recruiting people to come to, you know, the day of the event. We do need kind of all hands on deck or, you know, many hands as we can get to help. So again, special projects and it is basically the fundraisers. Yeah, you mentioned a new one. Oh, and the new one we're working on is Paddle for Scholarships. Uh, did I get that right? Yeah. For first responders. For first responders, uh, Paddle for first responders, Paddle for for scholarships. It's going to be in June 2017. So uh, we're going to do it. We're in the planning stages. They had a meeting two nights ago, I believe, and uh, so we're, we're working on that and getting out sponsorships. We've picked a date, working with the town of Leonardtown. So much more to come on that. And it's again June of 2017. Kathy, vocational. Uh, good morning. Uh, the, the vocational lane works on um, giving out scholarships to eligible students. So um, we, right now uh, we have one out there called the um, Service Above Self Award, and we ask them to write uh, essays about what it means, what Service Above Self means to them. And we go through the Becca Scholarship System, uh, which uh, collects, uh, uh, offers scholarships in a uh, nice um, one scholarship application way so that we reach as many students as possible. We form a committee in April and uh, go over all the scholarships and award a new scholarship each year. Um, so I think we give out about uh, $4,000 a year in this particular scholarship, and that usually happens in April. Uh, right after tax season. <laughs> so, um, aside from that, we do the dictionary project in October, um, and that's all I can think of right now here. Off the Kathy, are you still looking for for members on your on your committee? I'm always welcome welcoming new committee members, and I believe uh, Carol Copenhagen the, it will be taking over this as vocational lane chair in July. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Barbara, we, we don't really have, uh, we're, we're in the midst of a public relations uh, and, right, the and, and, and a membership person, which used to be all-encompassing all of club services. That's right. And, and so. Club service also did, does the, um, the newsletter and keeps the website up to date. We also have a Facebook page, which I know Kathy's been to, I'm not sure anybody else has. And I set it up so that anybody could upload, you know, any Rotarian uh, could, could be uh, uploading stuff on the Facebook page. But um, so Club Service does that, and Dan is a member of Club Service and usually sets up our Fifth Thursday uh, socials that we've been having. So I think that about covers it that I can think of right now, too. <laughs> so, and char Charter Night also. Oh, Charter Night, charter. yes, thank you. Uh, I, I'd like to add to that, you know, uh, we asked Megan as a new member last year to, to take on the public relations piece, and which she has done a wonderful, wonderful job with. Her personal life is, you know, takes her, she's not able to be here every week, and, uh, but she continues to work on the, on the newsletter and, and trying to help promote the club that way. Uh, Michael Blackwell, uh, having been communications director at his past club, we had a meeting with Megan, and, and he's becoming more and more involved in that in that effort. So, if you have things that are public relations related, or Michael is uh, hopefully going to be a little bit of the driving force when he's here, uh, if we've been asked to turn in a, a newsletter or article or 
do something with that regard, he, he's the guy. So uh, if you have any ideas, see something going on with Rotary, please let him know. Yeah. Or just birthday announcements, anything that you know, a birth of a grandchild will be featuring in an upcoming uh, uh, newsletter, just anything kind of personal that you'd like to share with the club, we'd all be interested in hearing. Thanks. And we are looking for a membership chair person. Uh, and so if you're interested in spearheading that effort, uh, love the I'd love the opportunity to speak with you or Barbara in, in her new term. Um, then we have community service. Win for Trump. Community okay. service. I was going to bring this up in announcements that we are in the process of, of soliciting uh, grant applications so for uh, community nonprofits and public service agencies. Um, the deadline for that is um, March 3rd. So if you know of anybody who hasn't applied yet, I will be sending out a reminder. I only have maybe five applications, but they're, they're notorious because this is grant lending season. And most of these places are notorious for coming in you know, midnight of, of the day of the due day. So uh, you know, I'm not terribly concerned about that. And we may have a little bit of extra money this year, so it's even more important for them to get their applications in so they can be reviewed by the uh, committee. Uh, we also just came off the warm program, as many of you know. We get up in the middle of the night uh, to uh, prepare breakfast to serve to homeless individuals as part of the warm program. Uh, Twice a year, we go out again at the break of dawn, and I keep saying, what, what am I doing? I'm not the morning person around here, so I'm get all these early morning things. We go out and pick up trash along the highway that's dedicated to us with our sign on it. And so I'm always looking for people to help us out with that. And then any other special projects that come up, they come under community service. Uh, we deal with as they, as they go over, like the volunteering for the, for the, uh, the uh, well, well Mothers program would be a really good example of something that's not, you know, an annual event, but something that we deal with. Mission of Mercy. Mission of Mercy. Oh gosh, I forgot about that. That's fantastic. That's the uh, volunteer dental program for uh, low-income people, and we always uh, have volunteers there to help out with it. Plus, we're trying to raise funds to get them a mobile uh, clinic truck so that they don't have to loading and unloading all their equipment. So that's another part of what we're trying to do at this point. And of course, Butch Ward, a, a former uh, member of this club, who was really a dynamo, I'd love to get him back, but he's so involved in Mission of Mercy now that he, he just can't you know, get himself cleared to come back to us. But anyway, we're trying to be very supportive of that program. Barbara and I and, and uh, Dave and several others have gone up and to wherever they're doing it who is it they're doing the next one? I think it's this June up in Waldorf. Yeah. I think it's down here this year, isn't it? Last year was Waldorf. I think this year they're moving it back down here. Uh, uh, well, I understood. Well, anyway, I'll find out and watch them well, well enough to really work to see the volunteers to make sure we're they're well staffed. And it's just a phenomenal experience to go up there and see these people that line up for hours and hours and hours the night before to try to come in and get dental care. It's always amazing to me the number of, of volunteer dentists and their staffs that come in and stay to all kinds of hours, even well past the closing time, to ensure that these people get some really, sometimes very extensive dental care all in one 24 hour period. So it's, it's a fantastic program. Thank you, Lynn. And I think that leaves international services, Mr. King. Yes, uh, we have. Um, We've done project international service uh, now uh, involves six areas of focus, anywhere from uh, clean water, sanitation, <coughs> to uh, maternal uh, uh, child care, to education, uh, economic and community development. I'm missing one or two of the uh, the uh, most of what our club has done in the past has involved uh, um, uh, health care and and water and sanitation, uh, some education. We delivered about 250 uh, computers um, to a uh, school, a rural school in India about uh, 12 years ago. Um, there was a project uh, outside of Mumbai, India, where we, um, our club um, donated um, funds for um, providing prosthetic um, limbs uh, to um, uh, people that, uh, through um, 
polio and other uh, types of uh, illnesses uh, needed that. We have um, uh, provided uh, small filters for schools, public schools in India, and, and the children um, uh, drank that water, which was more clean than, than otherwise um, at school, and then um, we also supplied these uh, plastic water bottles for them to take the water home to their siblings to drink. Um, uh, we just finished, um, well, in 2010, we finished a project in Honduras where we, we served uh, 10 villages. We helped them build 10 uh, water systems in the mountains between uh, El Salvador and um, uh, Honduras. Uh, and then uh, this past um, February, a year ago, they dedicated the new um, clean water system that was built in uh, Kenya um, along the Tanzanian border for a Maasai village um, way out in the um, next to the Maasai Mara Game Reserve. And that system now, that project now, we're in the process of um, trying to close out the water grant. Maybe we'll move to a sanitation. It depends on on um, how successful we are closing that grant. So those are the types of projects, but. We really can deal with any any project that um, um, meets the Rotary <coughs> International standards of those six areas of focus. Uh, so, if you have uh, interest other than in areas other than what we've done in the past, and bring it on. Uh, there is one project that we also worked on that, that was going to be started out as a district grant and was going to be a. Uh, thought expanded to an international project, and that's the Oyster Reef that was um, built down in the St. Mary's River, but we, uh, uh, that project has been uh, completed and anecdotally um, greatly successful. It's being looked at by many people in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, in the state now. The, uh, it's the only one that's a fully three-dimensional reef in the Chesapeake Bay. But, we couldn't so far convince uh, Rotary International that it's eligible for one of the areas of focus. Um, so I don't, at this point, it falls under Dave's um, category as a special project, and that's how we're, uh, we're dealing with it right now. It got lost between uh, clean water, because it's not drinking water, and uh, we're, we're, we're going to take another stab at it, possibly for community and economic development. Yes. If we can clean the water, we can help help bring back the fisheries. So. Well, and by the way, there will be a dedication sometime within the next month or so. <clears throat> the date hasn't been set yet, but you can go on the Watershed Association um, Facebook page and see the sign that has been installed next to the boathouse at, at the college. Okay. Um, so we'll let you know when they uh, actually set the date. Hopefully, um, most of us can attend. But um, who who is not assigned to a lane yet? That would be most of the new members. <coughs> so, but I, I'd urge you this morning uh, to to contact some of these people and, and try to settle in on that. I, we're not going to ask you to make that decision today necessarily, but if you've got an interest, pl please approach them. And uh, okay, if. Uh, are there any other announcements?